वेलकम एवरीबॉडी वेलकम टू द करंट सेशन ऑफ ट्रेनिंग एट सोपिया ट्यूटोरियल डॉट कॉम इन द अर्लियर सेशन आई टॉक अबाउट वेब सर्विस वॉट अ वेब सर्विस इज बेसिकली फाइन इट दे नथिंग बट एक्सएम एल बेस्ड कम्युनिकेशन वी सॉ दीज एक्सएम एल वन वॉज द रिक्वेस्ट एक्सएम एल वन वॉज द रिस्पॉन्स एक्सएम एल द रिक्वेस्ट एक्सएम एल वॉज गोइंग एंड द रिस्पॉन्स एक्सएम वॉज कमिंग वी सॉ द ए टी एम एग्जाम्पल राइट नाउ इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल थिंग विच आई एक्सप्लेन इन द लास्ट सेशन right now we'll come over to soap ui what soap ui is why is it used fine now the thing is i'll take up a simple scenario a simple scenario like this that is suppose you are on a travel website this is your travel website fine xyz.com whatever it is and you as a customer you visit this website not for you this is a single entity fine you fill in your details you fill in your fill in your details like your name the place where you want to visit and start date when you want to visit end date when you want to visit okay so what this travel website will do when you give the information to it it will go to all the vendors which are there on the internet fine or all the vendors which, which it knows and it will try to communicate with them with all the vendors in form of xml documents fine in form of web service xml document so there is a point to be noted here these all circles are known as nodes fine so so for example this one is node 1 where the user visits node 2 is a, another another travel provider this is node 3 is another travel agent node 4 is another travel travel agent node 5 is another travel agent so website at node 1 it gives an xml document to each and every node and each and every node also returns back an xml document to the website with all the plans prices features and whatever is the travel pack, package they are having they send it back this travel website displays the travel package to it right the point to be noted here is that in case of web services there can be a single node to single node communication or single node to multiple nodes right that is in case of earlier city bank example we saw that this was city bank this was hsbc bank both the banks were communicating with each other this was one node communicating to one node but at times you have got one node communicating to multiple nodes as well right and that also happens over xml documents that is web service okay so how will you test this kind of thing for example now taking up uh, taking it up in a little bit detail see the request can go like this that is user details tag can go and user details tag will end over here in it you will the user will send his name say sam wants to travel it will send all his information that is the place where he wants to travel right uh, start date hold on just be with me right so the xml will be made like this some start date and then there has to be a end date okay so some end date will be given by the customer and this kind of xml will go from the travel website at node 1 to multiple nodes right no you need to validate and each what what do you need to validate you need to validate the xml which is being sent firstly and secondly each of these nodes will also return you back an xml document having the transaction information right or say having the deals which a node can give to the provider for example uh, deals can have say package 
tag something like this hold on just be with me package tag ends over here place suppose I write yeah I want to use the United States fine so package for United States one package is for ten thousand US dollars the cost tag closes here I'll just take this much of XML so what it can do is that one node can return you multiple packages fine this is a package for twenty thousand dollars this is a package for thirty thousand dollars so these are the various packages which can be returned by say node 2 right so this is the XML which is returned by node 2 similarly a different XML on the same lines can be returned by node 3 by node 4 by node 5 so you need to test all these XML files you need to test whether the correct data is coming up over here or not fine so to do that you use SOAP UI as a tool it's not necessary to use SOAP UI you can also write your any programming language code and you can test it but SOAP UI will make your work very easy <coughs> Right, so SOAP UI as a tool can be used to test interactions between one node and another node or one node and multiple nodes. Okay, it basically it tests XMLs, the format of the XMLs, the values in the XMLs, you can do anything with the, with the XMLs with SOAP UI. Right, and as I have written over here, it can be used for functional as well as load testing or web or web services. That is, functional testing of these XMLs as well as load testing. Functional means that the values and all and functionality. Load means that when lot of web services are used, lot of interactions are done, the load which is being put on the server, you can also test that, right? And it manages XML documents. It manages the requests, the re responses, and all everything. So, what XML is? Web service is nothing but XML based. Right now, it can also be used to automate web service test cases. It is not that SOAP UI can only be used for functional testing and manual testing, right? Manual testing of your functional test cases. No, it's not like that. SOAP UI can be used to automate your web service flow as well. If I have to automate the testing of a complete scenario like this, I can use SOAP UI, I can build a single automation script, run the script go home the script will keep on running it will present you the reports output and all all that stuff so you, it's both manual as well as automation options are available with soap ui and it can represent reports in form of excel files in form of junit html reports and all and all that stuff right it can also be used to parameterize your tests what do you mean by parameterizing the test cases this is the initial XML which is sent by the node 1 to all the nodes right okay what if I want to send the details of 100 such customers this was, this was just for one customer Sam if I want to send the same request but with different name country start date and end date right I want to send 100 such XMLs to all the nodes this will require parameterization that means Repeating a test, sending this XML will be like a test, right? Okay. If I want to send this XML in the same format 100 times but with different sets of data, then you will require parameterization. That means you will require um, an Excel file. An Excel file which, which will be somewhere over here. In this, you will keep all the records of the data fine the record from the excel file will be substituted in the request and they will be sent to all the servers right that's what is known as parameterization right so if you want to send single excel xml file with multiple sets of data again and again you can use parameterization that is possible and to do all this stuff to test all these xmls doing parameterization generating reports logging and all all that stuff we use Groovy scripting as a language in SOAP UI tool. 
okay groovy script is the basis of soap ui it is the backbone of soap ui if you don't know groovy script there's nothing to worry in our website uh, soapuitutorial.com uh, we have explained everything from the very basic thing right the groovy is covered everything is covered there are right now 20 modules soon there will be around 25 right so th this is all groovy script in the initial modules groovy is very important and i'll talk about it right without groovy you cannot do anything fine now SOPUI as a tool can also be integrated with uh, Eclipse. I'll talk about this later on Jenkins integration, Eclipse integration. I don't want to talk about it right now. Fine. And yes, the most important thing is it is available in various flavors. Open source version and pro version. If you visit the website SOPUI.org Hold on. And if you want to download and install SOAP UI on your machine, fine. There are two versions of SOAP UI available. The first one in the download section over here. The first one is download SOAP UI. This is the free version of SOAP UI. Okay. This is a version which is free of cost. You don't have to pay for it. You can click on it and you can download it, install it. It will never expire. Fine. Another version is the pro version. If you go back. This is the pro version. You can download the trial for the pro version. Pro, pro version is paid. Free version is open source. Uh, you can download the trial version and you can use it for certain days. Right? Trial will be for the pro. The difference between trial and pro is that in... Uh, sorry, the difference between the free version and the pro version is that basically free version requires you to do a lot of coding. Okay, there are features which are there in paid version but they are not there in the free version. If you want to bring the same features in the free version, you have to code a lot. Alright? Fine. So, free version requires you to code. The paid, the paid version requires less coding. Fine. And it helps you to automate and parameterize your test cases very easily. In uh, the free version, there is no inbuilt feature for parameterizing the test cases. That means running a test case with different sets of data. Right? In the paid version, there is a very easy feature which will help you to parameterize your test cases, right? There are test steps available for that. So, uh, basically, this is the feature, but it doesn't mean that you cannot parameterize in the free version. You can do that, but you'll have to write your own code. Okay. So, th that's the major difference. Okay. So, in, the, in this training, you'll be, we'll be studying both about the open source as well as the pro version. Fine. Now, the most important thing is this line. SOAP UI as a tool, it supports various protocols like SOAP, REST, HTTP. Look, if you look at this diagram again, there is a lot of interaction between multiple nodes over here. Right? We need to have a certain procedure. Right? We need to have a certain procedure in which the nodes will communicate with each other or we need to have security as well because a lot of data is being exchanged we need it to be secure procedure means basically we need to have a certain protocol a certain protocol in which these nodes they communicate with each other for example when node 1 sends a message to node 2 right what kind of message will node 1 send to node 2? It will send this kind of message. Node 2 should be expecting that fine in the message I will get the name tag, I will get the place, I will get start date and end date tag. It should know the structure of the XML which will come to it. No matter what data comes in, right? but at least node 2 should, should be knowing that what kind of data is coming over to it. Right, so all these things is defined. All these things are defined with the help of protocols. The structure of your XML, how will your XML work? What will your request XML look like? What will be the structure of your response XML look like? Right, all that stuff is explained with the help of protocols. And we have got two major protocols, SOAP and REST protocols, which can be used for implementing XML-based messages or implementing SOAP UI. REST is becoming very famous these days. 
soap soap is also famous but rest is something which is new and it is evolving right so i'll be talking about them right now in little detail and i'll tell you what soap is protocol what rest protocol is how they work and how they are different from each other so you can yourself come to know <coughs> soap ui can also be used for testing http protocol i'll talk about that right i'll not talk about it right now it's not so um important right basically these two protocols are used a lot http protocol is a normal web protocol on which the websites also work right so let's explore soap and rest protocols now <coughs> 